what happens at the end of a reverse mortgage. So I had an acquaintance from high school call me the other day and unfortunately her grandfather just passed away. And there's this common myth or misconception that at the end of a reverse mortgage that the seniors are gonna lose possession of their home, which just isn't true. There's actually three common ways that they come to an end, which we'll go over in a minute. But some of the advantages are you gain access to cash value in your home. The fees are usually rolled into the loan and aren't due till the end. And you get to stay in the home and don't have to make payments like you do with a, a regular mortgage or a HELOC. So three ways they come to an end is one, the last living homeowner dies, in which case the heirs usually sell off the property and, and use the proceeds to pay off the, the reverse mortgage. Second way is the, one of the homeowners decides to sell the property, in which case they typically have about 180 days to pay off the reverse mortgage, or they go into long-term care or retirement home in which case they usually have about a year to pay off that reverse mortgage. So let me know if reverse mortgage can help you. If you're looking to buy or sell real estate, get at me. I'd love to help you out. Thanks.